There is a part of the steel pan's journey, from drum to sound, that isn't talked about much. The art of pan tuning. Forged from fire and steel, the steel pan has wowed the world with its sweet melodies. And I actually heard that magic on stage and I was like, wow, you know, that band song is so good. The business of pan tuning, though, is a labor of love and it cannot be mastered without hard work and dedication. The manufacturing process, you see a lot of people feel that they are, they are tuners, but in pan manufacturing, it's like, it's like building construction. So you have to be able to, to construct from a, a, a raw drum um, to lay out any notes. It's a, it's, it's a lot of hard work, and I think they tend to run away from the hard work. A groover uses a nail punch and a hammer, and he manually grooves and he simply taps, 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 but there's it's, it's a lot of art in it as well. Even though there are difficulties, for those who stick to their craft, the rewards are prolific. The steel pan has taken me all over the globe. I either go to Japan every year, to England, to Spain, to the US, to the Caribbean island, on a yearly basis. I could, I could travel all year long if I choose, but you know you stop and you take the time out because you need to give back to home. With the new generation of tuners, technology also plays a great part in the ascension of the craft. Yeah, but now we use um, automatic tuners, a Peterson strobe, I even use my phone as well with different apps, you know, if you have an iPad there's a really good app as well, you don't have to buy that app, so the technology in terms of tuning and that aspect it definitely has changed. The journey to this symphonic sound, though, strikes a discordant note. In the land of oil, getting steel drums to make the musical instrument can be more difficult than one would expect. Uh, we used to get our drums from Nasta, and they actually made drums specifically for steel pan making. However, Nasta is no longer there. So we sourced drums from different companies, you know, and we even reached a stage where we had to import our drums to make steel pans. You had to be using drums from factories and some of them contain dangerous chemicals and so it's hazardous to us now. Technology Institution MIC offers several courses in pan production, including pan tuning and is dedicated to playing its part in preserving the art form. So MIC have been running um, quietly some nice pan tuning program that helps some of the the younger guys in the, who are in the industry now, say more of the master tuners now are no, are no longer with us. We still have one or two, but um, we need to fill that void. So one of the easiest ways to do is to get the bands to understand that um, you need to be self-sufficient. You know, we have a lot of young arrangers coming out of steel band, but we hardly have tuners coming out. So NGC took the initiative to get something along that line for their members from different bands to start to work on. From production to panorama, this tedious process ensures the steel pan remains the beating heart of Trinidad and Tobago music. Ryan Bechu, CNC3.